Oh, it looks like it's already happening. Have a look here. Big Sur compatibility issues. And imagine Apple Silicon. Oh, it's going to be a fun ride, isn't it? All your plugins, everything's not going to be working. Oh, no. We're in for a ride. And even if you have an Intel Mac, wow. Be warned. Unless you really just use Apple apps, <laughs> be warned. Tell you their chance and wolf. Yes, Apple Silicon is here. And are you excited? Because I'm excited. But you may not want to buy this. I'm going to tell you why you might not want to buy it. Now, a lot of people say it's a lazy upgrade because Apple have just shoved some supercharged iPad silicon into the current MacBook Pro chassis. And yeah, that is true in some ways. These are the old systems here. I don't consider these the true Apple Silicon redesign that we're going to have next year. Now, as I said before, if you're in the market for a MacBook Air, or the base model MacBook Pro, definitely just buy these, no brainer. But there are some reasons why you might not want to buy these. That's because of the new redesign, app compatibilities, yeah. They say it will run well in Rosetta and all this. There'll be one thing that doesn't run well and that'll just stuff you up and you'll be tearing your hair out. So with Intel, it's a safe bet. And that's the thing, right? I always said you can still buy Intel now, even now, MacBook Pro 13. If you want, get the Intel system. It's definitely an option. You know everything's going to work. It's going to be supported for years. And by the time the Intel laptop you buy needs updating, Apple Silicon will be much better and just think what's coming in the new apple silicon max next year we're going to have obviously faster cpus more ram 16 gigs won't be the limit anymore we're going to have face id new design less bezels i mean 2015 xps 15 come out with the thin bezels i mean the Macs still have sizable bezels these days it'd be nice to have a redesign with new bezels probably going to be smaller and lighter these ones might be good in one way because i doubt that the new redesigns that they're not going to cut some battery out make them thinner and lighter i think that's what they'll do so for battery life these may be the kings also you'll be able to have four thunderbolt fours mini led hdr displays which you know people are doing hdr content now you need a hdr display and for me the biggest thing missing from these macs is 5g or lte i don't really care about the 5g that much but i want to see even just lte in macs which you can do because you have it on the ipad right so why not have it on the macs and then you can go out and about anywhere and you're always connected so that's my thoughts on the Mac. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to slam these things. Can't wait to get them in house. Yeah, it's exciting to have new stuff. It's exciting to have new silicon and it's going to be exciting to compare them to other Macs and just even other PCs, see how we go there. So make sure you sub up. Catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.